This show sucks. I kind of like it, Uncle Shady. And there's lots of pretty girls running around in elf outfits. You gotta like that. Well, I guess so. If you like short women with no boobs. And what's up with Santa wearing a tutu? Well, if you're bored of watching TV, you can help me decorate the Christmas tree. Ah, humbug. You can take that Christmas tree and those decorations and shove them up your nose. Well, Uncle Shady, it's getting kind of late. I gotta run down to the dispensary before it closes. And when I get back, you can help me finish decorating the Christmas tree. What branch do you want your teeth on? Christmas. <laughs> you know, we're too broke to be spending money on that stupidness. Anything you say, Scrooge. Scrooge this. Come in. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you all. Harry armpits to you too. You won't upset me, Shady. I have the feeling of Jesus. And the look of the devil. Now why the hell are you so merry? You don't even have the right to be merry. You're broke like the rest of us. But I'm rich in spirit. Merry Christmas. Damn your Merry Christmas. What's Christmas anyways? But a time to pay your bills with no money in your pocket. A time to find yourself one year older with more wrinkles and your balls are sagging further than last year. It's a time for finding out that your friends are stupid and that the rest of the world hates you. If I had my way, every idiot running around with their damn Merry Christmas would be stuffed like a turkey and buried with a Christmas tree up their ass. Shady, that's terrible. Listen, you keep Christmas in your way, I'll keep it in mine. But you don't even keep it. Leave it alone, then. Well, I will still say Merry Christmas. That's all you've been saying. Why don't you take your Merry Christmas down to the train tracks, stand in the middle of them, and wait for the Polar Express to run you over? Uncle Shady, that's mean. Well, she started it. I started it. That's right. Uncle Shady, how did she start it? Well, she talks too slow. She talks too slow? That's right. It takes too long between hello and goodbye. Well, I'm sorry about that, Anteater. What can I help you with? I just came to bring you some presents and to invite you both over for some Christmas cheer. Oh, thank you. Just put them under the tree, baby. Uncle Shady, there's even a present here for you. You spent money on me? It's not how much you spend, Shady, but the thought that counts. Well, what is it? Who cares? Leroy, if you're leaving, I'm going with you, baby, because your uncle is getting on my nerves. Trust me, there's no part of you I want to get on. You think you're funny, Shady, don't you? But as my Japanese-speaking friends say, Sayonara, baby! Battle axe. Listen here. If that's you again, I'm gonna wrap you up in a box and FedEx you to the North Pole. What's up, old man? What do you want? My name is Reggie, and I want to talk to you about some job. Well, who do I look like? Mike Illich? You look like John LeBag if he gets me some money. I need the money for a week and eat. Boy, it looks like you've been eating a little too much as it is. Oh, that's a condition. Yeah, it's called being fat. Oh, man, that's low. Okay, all right, all right. I have a job for you. Here's a quarter. Your job is to get off my porch. Now don't come back. Hello, this is Shady's, and a Merry Christmas to me is a young lady playing jingle balls with my Yule log. Happy holidays, sir. I'm calling on behalf of the local gay shelter. Well, that's good for you. What do you want? We're contacting all the local residents in the area to collect donations for our first annual Gay Bell Single Parade. <clears throat> yeah, listen, you're calling the ghetto, not Ferndale. Well, what does that mean? It means, in this house, we don't play jingle balls. Sir, we could really use your support. Now listen here. I supported you not contacting me in the past. Presently, you contacted me and I'm getting a queasy stomach. So I support you not contacting me in the future. You're an asshole. And a fairy Christmas to you too. Hey, get off my lawn! <laughs> That's the best part of Christmas. You get to yell at all the little kids.
No, I must be hearing things. How did you get through my door without opening it? Now listen here. This is an open carry state. If you don't get out of my house, you're gonna have a really bad day. How do you know my name? Who the hell are you? Ask me who I used to be. What, did you change your name? You in one of those witness protection programs or something? Well, this isn't a safe house. Now get the hell out of here. You don't recognize me, my friend. Hey, 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 now, now wait, that's my last beer. Now you ask for it. I don't mind you hitting me, Shady, but take it easy on the molds. To all times, my friend. Oh my god. It's... Danny Brower, your old but, friend. But... You're dead. Seven years, to be exact. Has it been that long? Hmm. To look at you, I would have guessed maybe uh, three, four years tops, you know. Shady, we have we much have to much talk about. You're in big, big trouble. I know, you're drinking my last beer. If you don't change your way, Shane, you're going to wind up as doomed as I am. One minute, I was walking down the street. The next minute, bing, bang, boom. Yeah, I didn't know you died of a heart attack. I did it. Someone dropped a set of drums on me. No, no. No, you're not here. Your hallucination brought on by drinking too much Canadian beer and moldy cheese. Moldy cheese? Maybe it was one of those Swedish meatballs. They did taste a bit funky. There's more gravy than gravy when it comes to you. <laughs> all right, all right, just relax, man. Let's not have any drama here. Why the hell are ghosts in the ghetto? And why are you visiting me? It is, it is required of every man that the spirit in him should walk abroad amongst his fellow man and travel far and wide. And if that spirit does not go forth in life, it is condemned to do so after death. It is doomed to wander through the earth. Woe is me! And witness, and witness what you what cannot, you cannot share, share, but might but have might shared, shared on earth, earth, earth and turned earth, to earth, happiness. <laughs> what are those chains around your feet for? I wear the chains I forged in life. I made it lick by lick and yard by yard. It is a ponderous chain. Do you know the weight of the strong coil you bear? It was as long and as heavy as mine seven years ago, and you have labored on it since. Damn, Brower, come on. Why don't you tell me something good? I have nothing good to say. I cannot rest. I cannot stay. I cannot chill out anywhere. Oh, never to make amends. For the missed opportunities, the torture and remorse. Danny, I don't understand. Why are you suffering, man? You were a great hustler. That is why I am suffering. Danny, come on, it was business. Mankind should have been my business. 
the common good should have been my business. You're, you're crazy, man. At this time of year, I suffer most. Why I can appear to you tonight, I do not know. But I've sat beside you, invisible many times, trying to reach you. Listen to me, Shady. My time here on Earth is nearly gone. I'm here to warn you that you have a chance to avoid my terrible fate. A chance I got for you. Man, you were always a good friend. You remember that time we took the Laston twins to Nam and didn't even come home for a whole week? You will be visited by three fairies. <clears throat> is this this chance thing you were talking about? It is. Yeah. <clears throat> In that case, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna pass. Without their visit, you have no chance of escaping your fate. Expect the first one at midnight. Couldn't I just take a rain check on that? Expect the second fairy on the next night at the same time. I tell you what, just have them email me. And the third, the night after, at midnight. You know, they could just message me on Facebook. I have that, you know. Farewell, my friend. This will be the last time we see each other. And for your own sake, don't forget what I told you. I gotta stop drinking that Canadian beer. What the hell is going on? Now who the hell are you? I am the fairy of the Christmas best you see. So come along for a night. We'll have a really good time. Any place we go, we ride. So far, like dear, to a place so far from here. your eyes, look inside, the cab will take you away. That camel better not leave any stains on my antique imitation Persian rug. Look here, I don't get into all that fairy stuff. You don't know what you can find, why don't you come with me, Sadie? On the magic camel ride You don't know what you will see Come on and ride the magic camel with me So what the hell do you want? I'm here for your welfare Welfare? Well, I think you got the wrong place Ain't nobody on welfare in this house Come with me Oh, you know, I wish I could But I've been tired and, you know, I'm a little weak lately I think I'm catching menopause or something. Come with me, Shady. You know, I think that's the guy next door. You! Now you're wrong putting your hands on me. I don't get into all that fairy stuff. Now wait a minute. You look really familiar. Are you that guy that crashed into my car last summer? Yes, it is me. And it isn't me. It is yesterday. And it's all things to all people. For I am what was. Now I know you're in the wrong neighborhood. You're looking for Dearborn. And this is the ghetto. Come with me, Shady. Where are we going? Into your past. Perhaps another time. No! Okay, all right. Today's a good time. Climb aboard my magic camel. But where do I sit? There's only one hump. One hump is all we will need tonight. <clears throat> okay, but don't get any funny ideas. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Where are we? Don't you recognize this place? Well, it looks like my old place in Seattle. I love what you've done with the place. It's okay. Been hard since she left. Are you happy here? How could anyone not be? It's so beautiful here. But you're alone. Everybody wants you to come home. Things are different now. But I came out here. With, with... that granola girl. And she's gone now. Well, she might come back. Well, think it over. 
She had the big heart. Yeah, there's no denying. Well, you still have your nephew. Yep, Leroy. We must move along now. Okay, but can I ride in the back this time? What for? Well, a guy wearing a dress with fairy wings sitting behind me makes me a little nervous. Are you ready? <clears throat> yes, I guess so. Then hang on! <laughs> Do you remember this place? No, it. I used to work here. It's old man Hillbilly, alive again. All right, Shady, it's 7 o'clock. Time to shut it down. Fellas, it's Christmas Eve. Doors are closed. Have them locked before I can say John the Bang. Ho, 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 let's hurry up. Come on. Ladies, we're ready. Oh, your horses. Horses? I don't see any horses. <laughs> well, if you go outside, you'll find a camel. They can't hear you, Shady. Honey, can you sing something for us? Not tonight. Oh, please. Okay, well, you talked me into it. You know, I always did like that hillbilly music. The devil went down to the ghetto, looking for a soul to steal. He was in jam and he was on the lab and willing to make a deal. I remember old man hillbilly once saying, when happiness comes around, always give it a cozy place to chill out. Very true. Giving people a good time is such a small thing. Oh, God. What's wrong? Nothing. Just looking back. Maybe things look better than they really were. Oh, this was a lie? Uh, the world changes. And you can't trust anything. But no. It was just like this. Right down to the carrot on top of the ham sandwich. Come on. There's still more to see. More? You know, I'm getting tired of climbing up on this damn camel. Okay, hang on! Getting old changes people. I don't want to look at this. You must, Mr. Shady. You've changed. We see things different. It's better this way. Listen, I know what she says. I'm done, and I get the point. Let me just climb back up on the camel's hump, and you can take my ass home. As you wish, Mr. Shady. Hey man, wake up! Hey man, wake up! Huh? Hey man, what? I just let myself in, man. Uh, what's that smell? Oh, come here, man, and I'll show you. Have you ever seen so much weed before, man? Uh, no, not in this house. <laughs> we're gonna need it, man, where we're going. Who are you? I'm the fairy of Christmas present, man. Now listen here. If the cops just happen to come by my house with all this weed in here, you and I are gonna be in some pretty big trouble. Oh, uh, don't worry, man. The weed's coming with us. You know, it is getting kind of late, and I've already been out once tonight. You go on without me. No way, man. You're coming along. Uh, okay, but you're driving the camel. Oh, man. We're not traveling by camel, man. Well, the last guy had me riding around on the hump of a camel all night. Yeah, man. He's old school. So how are we getting anywhere? Oh, man. This is the 21st century, man. They just legalized bong travel, man. Bong travel? That's what the weed's for, man. Spark it up. Hey, I know those laughs. You should, man. They're all your friends, man. I just can't get Uncle Shady in the Christmas spirit. It seems the harder I try, the more he fights against it. You got that right, honey. Do you really think he hates Christmas? He sure does. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
I know that laugh. That belongs to the bride of Godzilla. That's Ann Eater, man. Listen. Thank you, Fairy. For what, man? For not asking me to look Shh. at her. Because I can't stand to look at her. Why, man? Uncle Shady is a funny old man. But I ain't gonna talk bad about him. Toss me another cold beer, Ben. Here you go. Thank you, my friend. Why won't you talk bad about your uncle? He calls you stupid all the time. Because I think his behavior carries their own burden. Yeah, Shady don't have a lot of friends. He's a grumpy old bastard. He's the biggest grump to ever walk the ghetto. He never says hello, goodbye. He leaves a bad stink in there. That might be from the pinto bean dip. Well, I feel sorry for him. He's the only one that suffers from his grouchy behavior, but not enjoying Christmas with us. He loses cheerful fellowship, ones that he can't find in his brain or in that dirty old house. Anyways, I'm gonna keep my door open and give him a chance every year to enjoy Christmas, whether he likes it or not. I don't understand why you defend Shady. Because my mother loved him, and if she loved him, can't be all that bad. Damn, they make me sound like a grumpy old man. A toast to Uncle Shady. To Shady. We have to go now, man. We do? Yeah, man. They're about ready to play some games. Oh man, we ain't got time for games, man. Here, I just packed it. But I want to stay. There's no time, man. Take a really deep breath this time, man. Where are we? Hey, man, look out! Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas oh, to all! Oh, oh. And to all, oh. good night! Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Oh. oh, man, shit. That's a real bummer, man. I told you to look out, man. Uh, what was that? Oh, man, that was Santa, man. I think you're on the naughty list, man. Santa? You mean that fat dude that wears that red suit? That's him, man. Uh, uh, I don't believe in him. Did you believe in fairies before, man? Oh, uh, well, that's different. What the hell are those little creatures? Oh, man, they're elves, man. Elvis? No, not Elvis, man. They're elves, man. They hang out with Santa, man. You know, if you want something to laugh about... Now that's how you deal with elves. Oh, man, you really need to work on your people skills, man. Uh, so why did you bring me here? Oh, to meet Santa, man. You mean the guy that ran me over? Yeah, man, but I think you've been naughty, man. We better move on. Uh, where are we going now? Oh, you'll see, man. Where are we now? Just look around, man. You know, I hate to break it to you, but you're looking a little older, Mr. Fairy Guy. Yeah, man. My life's pretty short, man. It ends tonight, man. Tonight? Yeah, man. Tonight at midnight, man. And it's getting pretty close. Hey, uh, uh, just to let you know, there's something weird coming out of your ass. Hey, man. Well, since you noticed, man, look. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, <clears throat> they've been up your butt this whole time, huh? Now, gerbils are one thing, but this? They're not nine, man. <clears throat> hey, it's cool. Whatever you're into and all. Yeah, uh... But I think I'm ready to go home now. So why don't you pack another bowl and fire it up so we can be on our way? Hey, man, just relax. I was just messing with you, man. <laughs> Freaks people out every time, man. Here you go, man. Spark it up. And you'll see I'll take you for a ride Shady We'll zoom into your future tonight 
You know, I just really want to stay home. We'll fly high above the clouds. I'm scared of heights. Traveling faster than the speed of sound. I, I, I got a bad heart. To show you what is waiting near. You better bring another pair of underwear. Hey, Shady, I'll show you to my Death Star. We'll wield our lightsabers, Shady. I'm gonna show you it all tonight. You know, I think you're the fairest of all the fairies. And what's up with that outfit anyways? I mean, it'd be cool without the cape and the and the wings. You know, I, mean, I just don't think it's very stylish, personally. You know, and one more thing. What's with the breathing thing? You a heavy smoker or something? I had a friend like that once. Death by tobacco. A cigarette truck ran him over in his nice clean lungs. Yep, and I was smoking at his funeral. Come along and rap with me. Well, you know, I eat some pinto beans. To, to, to your destiny. And they're just not sitting right. I really must make sure you're prepared. So don't forget another pair of underwear. Hey, Shady, forgot to mention one little thing, a ring. I'm your Lord of the Ring, Shady Baby. Let's look into your future tonight. And when we're all done, you'll be mine. Hey, wait a minute. What was that last thing you said? Never mind. Don't worry about it. All right, then. All right. Let's get this over with. Now where are we at? This is your future, Shady. Well, looks like somebody died, Fairy. Hope it isn't Tiny. He still owes me 20 bucks. Man, there's, uh, there's like no one here. Wonder who it is. Why don't you go look? Well, dead people kind of freak me out. And in the funeral home, they put all that makeup on them and the lipstick. And uh, I really don't think I can handle any more fairies tonight, if you know what I mean. Look. All right, don't get pushy now. It's you, Shady. But there's nobody here at the funeral. Are you telling me that when I die, I'm going to be all alone? No nephew? No friends? And do you know why? No clean underwear? No. Well, I figured that's why you kept telling me to bring clean underwear. It's because you had no generosity, no love, no Christmas spirit. No bullshit? No bullshit. Ain't that a bitch. Fairy, answer me one question. Is the future written in stone, or can I change things? It is time. Well, tell me and I can change the future. It is useless to resist. Ass is mine. Fairy, uh, uh, no, uh, 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 fairy, uh, fairy, uh, how about you back up, fairy? There is no escape, and in time, you will call me daddy. Uh, now, now, that's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know this to be true. No. No! <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Now who the hell is this guy? He is my master. Welcome, Mr. Shady. I have been expecting you. I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> now listen here. I told this fairy, the fairy before him, and the fairy with the damn camel. I don't go that way. <laughs> 
Is everybody in this universe a fairy? By now you must know you cannot be turned from the dark side. It is pointless to resist. I assure you, Mr. Shady, you are quite doomed. You know, I don't like cocky people at all. Everything that has transpired here is according to my design. But I can still change. Oh, it's too late for that. I'm afraid you're going to be here a long time. From here, Mr. Shady, you will end your insignificant denial on the dark side. Oh, you want this, don't you? Take it. Use it. You are mine. <laughs> Uncle Shady, Uncle Shady, wake up! I'm sorry, Uncle Shady. Did I scare you? Leroy, Leroy, is that you? You okay, Uncle Shady? I don't know. I'm a little disoriented right now. That must have been some kind of crazy dream, Uncle Shady. Dream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a dream. Well, I just came by to see if you changed your mind about going to Ann Eater's. Changed my mind? It's Christmas, Uncle Shady. She asked us to come over, remember? Christmas? Christmas? It's not too late. Then. Um, Uncle Shady? I don't know how to tell you this. I know, I know, I gotta change my drawers. Well, I didn't want to say anything. Listen, it was a rough night, and to top it all off, the last thing I ate was pinto beans, so you can imagine. Just gonna do that right there in front of me, huh? Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna go, uh, like, down in the truck. Just come on, uh, you know, like, just come on down, uh, when you're done. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Now, I had a pair of clean underwear somewhere. Shady, your underwear... Ugh, that was my last clean pair of underwear. <sighs> I guess I gotta go commando this Christmas. Uncle Shady, come on, I'm hungry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Leroy, you're driving. Okay, Uncle Shady. You know, Leroy, I always wanted to feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and for once in my life, I do. What do you mean, Uncle Shady? Never mind, just drive on, drive on. Wait, wait, wait! Hey, kid, your name's Reggie, right? What you want, old man? Here's 50 bucks. Go over to the ball mart and get a bottle of KY and then deliver it over to the gay shelter on 69 and Shaft. You know where that is? Yeah, man, I knows that place. Well, here you go. Have a Merry Christmas and keep the chains. Oh, thanks, old man. That was awfully nice, Uncle Shady. Just do my part to be gay and festive. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, getting into the Christmas spirit. I really wish Leroy was here. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Shady, you came. Is it all right if I come in and uh, be merry with all of you? Oh, Shady. Now, wait, don't kiss me. I'm still recovering. I got to take this Merry Christmas thing slow. We're just glad you're here, Shady. We're just about to sing a song. You want to join in? I tell you what, I'll sing the song. Band, the Christmas song in D-flat. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows A turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep 
tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeers really know how to fly And so I'm offering this simple phrase Kids from 1 to 92 Although it's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas To you Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen We really appreciate it and on behalf of the cast and crew, I'd like to wish everybody a happy and safe Christmas. And we'll see you again soon. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one. 92 Although it's been said Many times Many ways Merry Christmas To you Good night everybody Sing you this stupid song. You'll be doing alright with your Christmas. Oh, Jenny Blue Christmas.